Tell us a bit about what you did here today at Northampton College. What was the purpose of your visit? Well, I was along here today talking to the LGBT community and I believe some of the performing arts students. Um, I was largely uh, reading from The Mirror of Love, which is a fairly encyclopedic poem about gay culture that I did in the late 1980s in response to the Clause 28 that was being passed into law then. Um, and I just uh, talked about some of my latest projects um, and uh, generally vented my ill-informed opinions upon the otherwise blameless student population. And in terms, obviously, this draws an end to our LGBT history. LGBT History Month, um, how important do you think it is for students to be taught about gay history, especially considering some of the many people who are here today perhaps were born into a much more liberal society? Well, I think that it's always important uh, to understand how we got here, uh, to understand that this world that we inhabit now was not just born freshly formed from the head of Zeus that it's a uh, accumulation of all of these very complex processes. Um, I think that if we do not understand the history of our circumstances, then we do not understand our circumstances. If we don't understand our circumstances, we don't understand our own lives. So I think that context um, is always important. Uh, it's important to our sense of identity, to know that we we come from a tradition of some sort. So, um, yeah, The Mirror of Love is by no means a definitive poem about uh, gay history and gay culture. It was just that when I wrote it, there were no other histories of gay culture or gay um, society. So, um, they could probably improve upon that, but I think that at least it gives people a basis to, to understand what, um, what these important parts of their lives, what they, what they meant um, historically, you know. Um, I think that that is true, not just of sexuality, I think that's true of everything. We ought to really embrace history because it's our best way of understanding the absolute mess that we've gotten ourselves into.